Hi, welcome to Oism Academy. Let's begin with all you need to know about sulfur oxides. Now, SOX is the generic term for group gases composed of sulfur and oxygen, of which sulfur dioxide is a component of major concern. Now, SOX are naturally present in the atmosphere at very low concentrations, but can be harmful at higher concentrations. They are majorly produced during the combustion of sulfur containing fuels. SO2 is a colorless, toxic, non flammable, reactive gas composed of one sulfur atom bonded to two oxygen atoms. It is an acidic, erosive gas that reacts easily with other substances to form harmful compounds such as sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid, and sulfate particles. It has a suffocating, unpleasant, strong, distinct odor similar to a matchstick being struck. Now, SO2 reacts in the atmosphere to form SO3 and dissolves readily in water vapor. Forming sulfuric acid, which condenses on aerosols and clouds, forms acid rain. SO2 is emitted during volcanic eruptions, burning of sulfur containing fuels such as coal, wood, and diesel coal powered thermal power stations, extraction of metal ores, refining of oil paper mills, and emission from locomotives, ships, and other vehicles and heavy equipment that burn sulfur containing fuels. SO2, when inhaled, affects the mucous membranes of the nose and upper respiratory tract. It irritates the respiratory system and causes inflammation and tightening of airways leading to difficulty in breathing. Long term exposure may result in decreased lung capacity and can aggravate existing heart and lung conditions. SO2 deposition damages the foliage of trees and plants, turns their leaves yellow, and limits plant growth. SO2 emission results in the formation of acid rain that damages the plant tissues, acidifies the water, and affects the fertility and quality of the soil. The sulfate containing particles in the atmosphere can contribute to the formation of smog and thick haze that reduces visibility in addition to impacting health. Now, SOX monitoring is an efficient way to detect and reduce exposure of sulfur oxides, which further benefit in reducing the formation of particulate sulfur pollutants like fine sulfate particles, acid rain, and smog. Real time monitoring of SO2 levels helps in calculating air quality index to deliver health advisories as well as formulating an action plan to meet standards. Different working principles for sulfur oxide monitoring in the ambient environment are UV fluorescence, semiconductors, and electrochemistry. Now, OISOM measures sulfur dioxide on principle of electrochemical sensing. It operates based on diffusion of SO2 molecules into the sensor, which results in the production of an electrical signal proportional to the SO2 concentration. OISOM's Polytron is an ambient air quality monitoring system capable of monitoring more than 30 parameters, including gaseous pollutants like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, SOX, NOx, dust particulates like PM2.5 and PM10, noise, and weather parameters like rainfall, wind speed, and wind direction. Polydron is deployed across several cities, campuses, universities, and is used for drawing actionable insights to tackle the rise in ambient sulfur dioxide concentrations. I hope you now know all about sulfur oxides. For any questions or suggestions, please contact us. Thank you and happy learning.